Hello everybody, I'm Charlie Andrews, the New Orleans cook. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a fresh homemade garlic bread with Parmesan and mozzarella cheese from scratch. Okay, so let's get started. Stella. Okay, this is all what you're going to need to make your um, garlic bread from scratch. And down here the bread, this we have um, some uh, French bread right here. Got two little loaves of that. Um, you're going to need some uh, mozzarella cheese, Parmesan cheese, you're going to need some uh, some garlic, some fresh parsley, or you can use the parsley in the um, bottle here. Um, you're going to need 100% uh, pure olive oil, and of course you're going to need a dark pan to uh, bake your uh, bread. You're going to need a knife and a cutting board, and you're also going to need a, uh, a uh, food processor. Okay, and there you have it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to chop our bread in half here. And you got to do it, use it gently. So you have to have a knife with the edges, a rigid uh, knife. You're going to take it and you're just going to cut it straight down the middle. Like so. Okay, we chopped it in half. There you have it. Okay. bread cut in half, four loaves cut in half, and uh, here's our sauce. Now I want to let you know this is the most important part. Um, you want to be careful with putting this sauce on top of here. You don't want to add too much because garlic is a very strong flavor. So um, what you're going to do is you're going to take this brush and you're going to dip it in there and you're going to brush it on top of your bread. Okay, now that I'm finished spreading my um, garlic sauce on top of the bread, what you're going to do next is you're going to uh, sprinkle a little bit of salt on top of each uh, half of bread. Okay, sprinkle a little bit of salt, not too much. Sorry, y'all, that's my dog. Dave, hush. Okay, now, now that we put our salt on there, now it's time to add our cheese. Now, if you want to, you can put this on in the oven as is and just bake it for about 10, 15 minutes. Diesel, get over here. Okay. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> but um, if you want to put cheese on it, you want to continue 
continue to watch this video, okay? Okay, we have some uh, Parmesan cheese. This is the name brand cheese. It's about almost three dollars, but um, I use good quality cheese on, on my bread, okay? So this is some Parmesan cheese, so we're going to go ahead and add a little bit on top of each half. Not too much, just a little bit. Okay, now and next we're going to do is we're going to add uh, a little bit of uh, mozzarella cheese. Me, I like to add a lot of cheese on my bread, so uh, okay. decoration I like to simply use the uh, little canister of uh, parsley flakes so what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of that it's just for a little decoration we're going to just add that right on top Okay, now we're going to put it in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes on 400 degrees. Okay, now it's time to take our uh, garlic bread out of the oven. It's been about 15, 16 minutes, so. Still. Oh, no. oh my god, that looks good. Look at this. Look at that calling bread. It. Oh. It looks so good. Oh, I give y'all a demonstration so y'all can see. This is the garlic bread after fifteen minutes of baking in the oven. Now, don't that look good? Mm -mm -mm. I can't wait till I try a nice slice of this. Now, you can either serve it now or you can wait till it cools off a bit, which I'm going to let it cool off for a bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to serve this with a slice of. <clears throat> I'm going to serve this slice of garlic bread with a nice bit of my crawfish pasta. So, without further ado. Okay. And there you have it. Have a nice little slice of garlic bread with my um, crawfish pasta, and um, I tasted a little bit. Tasted a little piece here. Tastes pretty good actually. To be honest, the garlic bread is not where. I'm it's good, but it's not where I want it to be at this point, but it's, it's good. Okay, 
but this is it if you have any questions comments suggestions anything just let me know y'all have a blessed day mm -hmm.